friends today we will be discussing what is level up why you need to level up what to do while you're leveling up what happens when you level up and how to level up but before we discuss this lovely topic thank you for joining me on the next video to all of you who are a part of the sirens university and to my new subscribers welcome i am seductive siren your relationship fairy godmother and i mentor women and how to win at dating and marriages so i teach women how to be taken seriously by men how to make him value you, femininity, hypergamy, how to get over an ex, how to get over a bad breakup, tips and strategies, and how to be a sugar baby successfully. I teach you all you need to know about men, how to decode them, how to read them properly, how to avoid being taken advantage of, how to know when a man is wasting your time, how to know if he's serious about you, how to get him to marry you, and so much more. Become a part of the Siren University by simply clicking the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so that you do not miss any of the classes and lectures to come. If you are ready to learn how to get a man, how to keep him, and how to make how to get him to make you misses, I encourage you to join my online community because it is affordable. You only make a one-time payment. So basically what I do there, I post blogs that are even more in-depth and informative more informative because you know that on youtube i have to leave out certain things due to certain specific guidelines restrictions and rules so after watching this video click the link in the description box if you are interested in getting full access to such content so let's get started leveling up in my feminine opinion means a woman becoming the best feminine version of herself I had to use the word feminine because as we know, it is a common trend for women these days to operate consistently in their masculine. Some know it and others do not because it is a norm for them and I will do a separate video addressing this but yes, becoming the best feminine version of yourself. So divorcing that old pick me 50-50 subscriber desperate for love mentality masculine me character to marry the femininity and hypergamy to marry femininity and hypergamy to your character life and your very existence. I'm going to break this down even further for those of you who do not know what femininity and hypergamy is. So femininity obviously is the opposite of masculinity. Femininity is the true essence of what a woman naturally should be and femininity is simply being womanly. So in a nutshell, things like softness, beauty, being nice, kind, loving, caring, understanding, self-care, self-love, confidence, being submissive and nurturance, just to name a few. Hypergamy is when a woman marries up, she marries someone who is worth marrying, someone who is a complete powerhouse, someone who has status and someone who will allow her to be a woman because he's busy being the man. Leveling up happens on two levels, the physical and the mental. So now that we have discussed what is level up, femininity and hypergamy, let's talk more about why you need to level up. So you need to level up because it's the right and most sensible thing any woman can do. Becoming a better woman will mean that you attract better men. When you level up, you not only look better, but you also feel better. You will stop worrying yourself about your ex or how he broke your heart because you now have the capabilities and the ability to attract a better man. Your dating options are multiple and endless. You get access to places you probably wouldn't have if you were not leveled up. Men treat you better because they have no choice but to. I mean, you're beautiful, sexy, irresistible, one of a kind, and the girl of their dreams. The thought of losing you will literally knock the oxygen out of his lungs, so he will do whatever it takes to keep you. He knows you're definitely in high demand, so trust me when I say this, he will not mess things up with you. If you remain as you are, your life experience and circumstances will not change unless you do. So while you're leveling up, you should do two things. Be consistent and remain 
and remain tight-lipped about it. I see too many women backslide and go back to the downgraded version of themselves because they were consistent with being inconsistent on their level up journey. So in order to get the best results, you have to be serious about leveling up. You have to be consistent, dedicated, devoted, and faithful to the level up process, 100%. I will be honest, leveling up is not easy, but it is possible. The things that will change, this is basically something that will change your life for the better. The things that will change your life will never be easy and leveling up will be no different. You have certain habits, traits, and beliefs that are deeply embedded inside of your character and even in your DNA. So it will take some time to undo. But being and staying committed to the level up journey will give you access to a world you never knew you could even be a part of. Another thing you should do while leveling up is zip your mouth about it. A known pro proclivity of women is to talk too much, which results in oversharing. Let's be honest, the average man and woman are anti-level up because they choose not to be the best they could be and because of that they want to keep you there at the bottom with them. These people are also miseducated about what leveling up is and what it is about so they add their own untruths which is a byproduct of their own ignorance. So when you share things like this with people like that, who is uninterested about leveling up, who is miseducated or even uneducated about leveling up, they will absolutely loathe the idea. They will demotivate you or at least try to. And if you do not have an unshakable mind, they will be successful with making you think that this is a complete bad idea right because money is in everything or this is an unattainable goal for someone like you so your level up journey is your business only i do not care if it is your best friend your cousin the love of your life your mother or your imaginary friend tell no one because you do not know what will happen you don't know if this person is a silent hater who will do everything humanly possible to stop you from becoming better than them keep your lips sealed and if you struggle with that use both hands to hold them in place right so this leads straight into my next topic which is what happens when you're leveling up people will start to say that you have changed but they will never say for the better the truth is the truth is you have changed but in a good way certain unproductive behaviors like gossiping Smoking, stalking your best friend's ex on her behalf or his girlfriend, lack of self-care, partying every week, um, being a complete alcoholic or something close to it, talking on the phone for hours, and giving giving a listening ear um, to someone for the 189th time, talking about what her man has done wrong this time, has has halted because you do not have time or the bandwidth for idle things or idle talk. People will begin to know this to change and to them, this is something negative because you've changed, you act like you're better than me. Who do you think you are? I don't know who you are anymore or you, or you do not remember where you're coming from. So people who you thought would be happy for your glow up will become very bitter, angry, jealous, revengeful, or envious because they will not they will have to ask themselves how comes you both have the same background in the same environment or even have the same circumstances and you're able to achieve all of this you're able to achieve all that they could only dream of right they'll ask themselves this question so expect bad things like bad mouthing social media lives cyberbullying area airing out your secrets to the public because they will try to tear you down things can come these this type of thing can come from your family members or friends whatever they try to do do not allow it to deter you do not feed into it do not respond do not post subliminal posts about them on ig do not gossip about them to other people and do not internalize the hate and jealousy Put on your pair of eyes that has tunnel vision and focus on your next move to level up, all right? 
So here are five tips on how to level up. And this, of course, is beginner friendly. So number one, become educated about femininity. This is number one because this will make you number one if you know what you're doing. This is the first place to start because, you know, how can you level up if you know nothing about femininity or hypergamy? This is a solid, solid foundation you should build a new you on. So read books, watch movies with feminine women, subscribe to my channel, join my online community, get a consultation from someone who knows what they're talking about. So number two, evaluate your circle. This is important because like it or not, you are, you are the company you keep. There is a reason fishes do not hang with sharks and there is a reason why the level up do not hang with those who are not in public. They bring your status down and you two are not two peas in a pod. You both are unalike. Eventually, you know, history should not be the reason why you keep a dying friendship on life support. The value of it and does it make you better does it make you a better human being should this also extends to family if family bad talks you or make you feel uncomfortable then like split ends cut them off number three eat smart what you eat has the ability to affect you in so many ways both positively and negatively so depending on what you choose to eat and how often you choose to eat it definitely you know will impact you or have an effect so this might be triggering for some people who are a bit obese or overweight my intentions are pure so do not feel attacked or triggered because the aim is a healthier lifestyle holistically and this is also a necessary part of leveling up you have the freedom to be whoever you want to be and yes there might be some men who are interested in your body type but understand that the exception is not the rule I cannot talk about the exception as if it is the rule but those who are more successful or most successful are those who are often healthy weight you should eat smart because it could mean a longer lifespan for you, better skin, a boost in self-esteem, being approached by a better man, and it could mean prevention prevention of health issues associated with being overweight, such as high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, high blood cholesterol, cancers, and sleep disorders. So do not wait until it's life-threatening before you make the right and healthier choice. Number four, exercise. You have a body and so you need to keep it in, keep it in tip-top shape. Men, as you know, are very visual creatures and if you have and if you want a high value man, you have to have a banging body. There's no two ways about it. You need to be fit. You need to be sexy. Um, you need to maintain what you have. And it's a great way to control your weight as well if that's something you want to do. And finally, number five, learn how to do your makeup. Your face should never be naked. And yes, I call your face naked because it has nothing on it. Your face should never be naked. I do not care how beautiful you are. I don't care how great your skin is. And I don't care if you want to be natural. If that is what you want, then this is not the life for you. You can be natural at home when you're going to bed all alone by yourself. But the moment you step out the door, you should look larger than life and you should look like a work of art because this is a type of woman high value men marry there's there's a reason why you ne you will never see a high value man with a natural woman or a naked face woman it is because that isn't the type they go for they might have mm -mm -mm with them but they will never marry them and the exceptions to the rule are so little that they're not even worth mentioning and roll in the makeup class watch youtube videos and practice 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 so if you want even more tips and strategies on how to level up click the link in my bio and join my online community at www.seductivesirensgroup.com so my siren students, comment below what your experience has been when you tried to level up or if you're trying to level up, how the people around you reacted, any additional tips you would like to share on how to level up as well. Comment also below any thoughts you would like to add on this topic. 
and any topics you'd like for me to cover in the future. Also follow me on Instagram at Seductive Sirens Group. If you need my advice, you can always email me at Seductive Sirens Group at gmail.com to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation. All the information you need is in the description box below. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this video so that this video can reach a wider audience of women who this video will be helpful to. And also hit the notification bell so that you know when a new siren session is posted. It was really great sharing my thoughts with you ladies today. This has been your relationship fairy godmother, seductive siren, changing the world, one woman at a time. Goodbye and see you on the next video.